Good morning, it's Jimmy, and we're here at the yard, and guess what? The crusher is going. So let's see what we're doing today. Let's see what we're crushing. Here he comes. Looks like it's a Ford Escort ZR2 in red. Let's check it out. Here he goes. He's putting it in the crusher, which is interesting. It's called an easy crusher, and I think it's technically portable. That, that thing looks like it uh, could be hooked up to a truck. So there we go. Let's see if I can get a little closer. There we go. All right, any time now. Maybe not. Anyway, I think that's it for the ZX2. So let's see. Uh, let's see what else happens. Hang on. All right, we're back, and the guy had to go run errands. I think he had to help someone grab a uh, an engine and take it up to the front. So anyway, that was the Escort ZX2, which is completely flattened now so now he's going to take that and put it in the stack which is right here and then he's going to grab another car so let's uh there you go that's a pancake escort zx2 and uh he's going to drop that off and then turn around grab something else and put that in the crusher so let's see what he grabs next I guess she's gonna straighten it out. Cadillac. Looks like a 99 Seville STS. So let's see. Will it break the crusher? <laughs> I doubt it. Let's check this out. Here we go. I, I do think it's kind of sad that they crush him. I mean, I, I get the point. Obviously, you want to crush him, make him as dense as possible, eventually they get shredded. But, you know, some of these are attractive cars, right?
it turned off. I wonder what's going on. For some reason that took a little longer to crush than the uh, Escort ZX2 did. Not sure what's going on. Let's see. I'll try to figure it out. Well, it turns out the Cadillac did break the crusher. <laughs> kind of funny. Anyway, um, the guy was looking at it, poking the buttons, radio to supervisor, and then left. Well, now it's off. So, well, they fixed it, and there's the Cadillac, all flat as a pancake, being put on top of the Escort DX2. So let's see what's uh, what's next. I think I see a couple more in the uh, to be taken care of pile. Let's take a look at you. Oh yeah, it's something a little bit bigger. There we go. It's a Kia Sorento, first generation. See how this thing goes. Hopefully, it won't break the crusher like the Cadillac did. There we go. Putting it in, and then down comes all kinds of force in a second. Well, it made pretty short work of that, didn't it? That's just as flat as the other two so far. So we'll take this out and I think there's at least one more. So, and I think the one coming up might be a Ford. So let's take a look. But first, he's got to take this out. It'll slide onto the forks, It'll pull it out and set on top of the Cadillac. What happens after this is they end up flat bedding them to another facility they have where they have a, it's a much bigger facility and they have a, actually have a shredder. So they kind of feed the, the flattened hose in and then it just sort of, well, just kind of shreds them, sort of like a garbage disposal. And then uh, via conveyor belt, just takes little shredded pieces and puts them on top of a big pile of shredded metal. Looks kind of like a big sand pile, but all metal, it's interesting. Stack's getting kind of high. I think he's going to smush it down a little bit, just so they lock together. Now 
Now he gets the next vehicle. It is a Ford. Looks like it's a Windstar. Ford's minivan. Well, Ford's second minivan, right? First is the Aerostar, then the Windstar. These were notorious for rust problems in the rear, around the rear subframes, I recall. So let's see how this goes. It's a pretty blue color. I think that might be light Wedgwood blue. Let's take a look. Let's see how it goes. So these have all been crushed after they've been sitting in the yard for quite some time. There's obviously a lot of stuff left on them, but most of the interiors were picked over and nobody wanted the rest of it, so time to get rid of it. The wind starts to flatten and wow, it got kind of bulgy, didn't it? I guess the sides of the vehicle are kind of high, so the mass has to go somewhere. And since there's no, you know, back and forth pressing action, this stuff to just top down, it just kind of flattens out a bit, like a muffin top. So. There's our operator. He's he, yep, he's gonna come circle around, grab the wind star, and put it on top of the pile. Interesting, the suspension still kind of works, right? I mean, he crushed it all the way down, and then when the crusher came back up, the whole chassis popped up, you know, probably about eight or nine inches. So it's, it's kind of interesting. The struts, I guess, are still sort of there, and can just compress and expand again. There we go, he's back, and he's taking it out. It is flat as a pancake, as you would expect. Some kind of fluid is dripping out, probably rainwater or something. It's been sitting there for quite a while. Look at that. That is a windstorm, completely flat. And it's going on top of the pond. Looks a little precarious, but 
to go to work. Push it down a little bit. seem to be the end of it so thank you very much appreciate you guys hanging around and watching we'll try and do more of these but obviously we'll do the junk ones also that aren't at the crusher yet so thank you very much see you next time bye, -bye.